Hello students. Today I am going to give you extra questions of MCQ. You see the first question. Nitric acid reacts with calcium hydroxide to form calcium nitrate plus water. It What is this? It, see there are four options given. Displacement reaction, double displacement, neutralization reaction, combination reaction. When you see this reaction itself you can say it is a double displacement reaction because both molecules of the reactions are displaced to form the new products. See nitric acid combines with calcium hydroxide to form calcium nitrate and salt and water which is a neutralization reaction also. So the answer is that is B. Question number 2. What is observed when a solution of potassium iodide is added to silver nitrate solution? See the options given are no reaction takes place. B. White precipitate of silver iodide is formed. C. Yellow precipitate of silver iodide is formed. D. Silver iodide is soluble in water. Option C is correct. That is yellow precipitate of silver iodide is formed and this yellow precipitate is also insoluble in water. Next question, which of the following is precipitation as well as double displacement reaction? So, you need to think of precipitation and double displacement. If you see these four equations, in option A, we have the byproduct sodium nitrate in the product side. In the bracket, it is given aqueous. So, we got the clue again, I can say aqueous means the liquid form. It is not a precipitate. So, A and B won't be the correct answer. So, let us check with C and D. In case of C, option C gives mercuric oxide alone which is not a double displacement reaction. So, the correct answer is option D. The next question, which of the following involves combination of two elements? Nitrogen plus hydrogen gives ammonia, calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide forms calcium carbonate, sulfur dioxide plus oxygen to form sulfur trioxide, ammonia plus hydrochloric acid, ammonium chloride. So, you see the question, the clue is given in, here, in this question itself. That is, in option A, you can see nitrogen and hydrogen. Both are elements. In other equations, you can see all are compounds. So, the answer is A. Next question, oxidation involves, the options given are gain of electron, loss of electron, addition of oxygen or electronegative element and then removal of hydrogen or electropositive element. Now in this case if you see what is oxidation reaction everyone knows, either addition of oxygen or electronegative element, removal of hydrogen or electropositive loss of electrons by an atom or an ion. So, the correct answer is option B. Next question, the following reaction is an example of that is ammonia with oxygen. That reaction is a displacement combination redox or neutralization reaction. Oxygen displaces hydrogen of ammonia. So, it is a displacement reaction. Nitrogen of ammonia is getting oxidized with the addition of oxygen. So, it is an example of redox reaction. So, our answer will be 1 and 3 that is C. Option C will be the correct answer. Next, electrolysis of water is a decomposition reaction. The molar ratio of hydrogen and oxygen gases liberated during electrolysis of water is they have given the ratios like this. We all know H2O. So, H is 2. So, 2 is to 1 is the answer that is option B. Now we revised a few extra questions in this first lesson. I take online classes so you can revise so many questions like this with me. If interested, drop a message in the comment box. Thank you. Have a great day.